Hey guys, welcome back, welcome back to our channel. If you are new to this channel, please subscribe to our channel. Well, now in this video, I am going to share you how to reset this Redmi Buds for active TWS earbuds. So if you are having an issue like you can't able to hear the audio in both the earbuds like that issue if you are facing wins. So by resetting the earbuds, you can able to solve like that issue. So if you are using Redmi Buds for active and if you are already connected with your smartphone wins. So firstly, you have to unpair this Redmi Buds for active in all the smartphones you are previously connected just to go to the bluetooth settings and click on the unpair so in case if you connected in the one or more smartphone so you have to unpair in all the different smartphone because the earbud should not be connected with any device during the reset process once you unpaired so the first time so after unpaired you have to just put the earbuds into the charging case and just close the door and make sure both charging case and the earbud should have a enough battery and after that after a few seconds again open case door and again take off the earbuds immediately now just wear the earbuds in your ear and to do the reset process so you have to tap five times fastly in both the earbuds simultaneously so i am going to do now so once you tap five times on both the earbuds simultaneously you will hear a beep sound in both the earbuds so once you get the beep sound like that means so that is the confirmation for the successful reset completion in case if you not get any beep sound after you are tapping five times for a multiple times means so if it is not works on the first time means the first thing is that so ensure that in your smartphone the bluetooth is turned off or not because during bluetooth turn on condition these earbuds supports with the google phosphor so so even if you are not connected also it will automatically try to connect in the nearby android device so in case if it is not works for you means turn off the bluetooth and again place the earbuds into case and take off the earbuds again and just do the process again and this time definitely you can able to get success on the reset completion so once the reset has been completed successfully so again now place the earbuds into the charging case and close the door and wait for a few seconds and again open it and take off both the earbuds now take your smartphone and enable the bluetooth and here just to go to the available device list now you can able to see the redmi buds 4 active just click to pair so if you want to give allow access click on that and click to pair so now the earbuds has been connected so once the redmi buds 4 active is connected with your earbuds and also this earbud supported with the google phosphor after connected or before connected also you will get a dialog box like this just to click on the save so that now the earbud saved with your gmail id so that with the help of the google phosphor so you can able to experience the find earbuds feature and also you can able to get the exact battery percentage details in the google saved devices list and now you can just hear the audio in both the earbuds definitely you can able to hear the audio in both earbuds and in case if your earbuds got any hardware related damages means then only you can't able to solve like that issue with the help of the reset process apart from that there is no issue the earbuds are in good condition means in case if you having a issue like you can't able to hear the audio in any one of the earbud only single earbud is pairing like that issue means definitely you can able to solve this issue with the help of the reset process before reset you have to unpair and you have to turn off and after that try the reset process well now that's it on this video guys and hopefully if you guys like this video hit the like button and if you are new to this channel please subscribe to our channel below and thanks for watching this video guys mm -hmm.